This is a project that a friend of mine approached me about. The school where she works has converted what used to be a gym into sort of an open floor plan teaching area. There are some storage bays that needed doors. We originally planned on using sliding doors, but realized that hinge doors would work better. I built a three-ply frame with floating inner slats. The cross bracing was left unglued to adjust as needed if the door was warped or sagged. The whole thing was built out of three quarter inch pine boards and finished with a light coat of shellac. We were able to use the teaching area as a workspace. In total, we bought out nearly the entire stock of boards from the parts store. So the first step was to mill up all the boards to the needed width. And because they were cheap pine, they would sometimes, the kerf would close and they would, they would bind on my blade. So I just used a little wedge to whack in there and uh, that frees them right up. Let's cut a bunch of boards at once. I uh, just clamp them together at one end. the vertical slats and just left the boards the full width. You're going to notice that there's a lot of these shots where I forgot to turn the mic on. I bought a new mic and I kept forgetting to turn it on because I'm an idiot. Somehow, one of these boards bound up on my blade at one point and broke a tooth off, which really pisses me off. It's like an $80 blade or something, and I've used it about four times, but what are you going to do? Some of these needed a little bit of hand planing to compensate for a bit of the warp once they were cut and milled into uh, the final dimensions. This is Greg. He helped me out on this whole project. And when I say helped. So you can see Greg blasting through, assembling the whole thing. Uh, he found that clamping first and then using brad nails was the best way to really get a nice, even, uh, even pressure on the slats because they warped so much and everything. Uh, just brad nailing them didn't really do the trick. Here Greg is applying the shellac, it's uh, just bullseye, uh, cut another 50% with denatured alcohol. In the hardware I just kind of rough placed and screwed and used lag screws to hold it into place. I put some wheels on the bottom inside of the doors to help take some of the weight off the hinges in hopes that the, the doors would not warp as much. Uh, it ended up being a problem because the floor is so uneven that sometimes the wheels would free float and sometimes they would bind up. So if I did this again, maybe I wouldn't. But I figured it'd be better to have them on there anyway.
I ended up just using 2x4s to uh, add some framing to mount the doors to. The framing of the bays didn't really give us much to work with. And I would feel complete. I guess close to world. And I just screwed right through the carpet and the uh, acoustical tile. Seemed to work out fine. And here's Greg and I installing one of the doors. I cut down a 2x4 about the same height as the caster um, and used that as a shim on the hinge side to keep the door level. We found that by finding the point in the floor in the swing that was the highest, we were able to install the hinges, not have the whole thing bind up when you swung the door out. I cut some stop blocks for the tops of the doors. Putting on the hasp is pretty simple. I just wanted to true it up to the door itself. Handles go on. I'm an idiot. And there they are, in all their glory. I suck. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. It's warming up in upstate New York, so I'll try to pump out more videos of making random junk, uh, some behind the scenes of my day job and showbiz, and other crap that I find amusing. Thanks for watching.